Water fountains have been around for centuries, serving not only as sources of drinking water but also expressions of art, culture, and engineering. So in today's video, we're looking at the 15 most interesting water fountains found around the world. Let's begin with number 15, the Dubai Fountain in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Dubai is famous for having the biggest and best of pretty much everything you can imagine, so it would come as no surprise that Dubai has one of the most interesting water fountains in the world. The Dubai Fountain spans over 30 acres, and it sits on an artificial lake at the base of the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. Because this fountain sits in front of one of the most iconic buildings, the fountain was designed to impress. With its spectacular water displays that combine light, water, and music, this fountain is a sight to behold. It's got a lot of different water jets and shooters, and the water can shoot up to impressive heights. As for the lighting, the fountain is illuminated by a range of colored lights which are best seen at night during evening performances. And the fountain is choreographed to dance to a variety of songs. And this fountain performs several times a day, but the most popular performances are at night when the lights are at their brightest and the Burj Khalifa stands proud in the background. Visitors can experience the fountain from a lot of different viewpoints, including the Burj Khalifa Lake or from the Burj Park and the waterfront promenade. The Dubai Fountain, with its choreographed dancing water display, it's become one of the most famous water fountains in the world. Number 14. The Moonlight Rainbow Fountain, Banpo Bridge, Seoul, South Korea for those that want a little color with their water fountain, then the Moonlight Rainbow Fountain will check all your boxes. This spectacular fountain is an iconic attraction for both tourists and locals who come to see the fountain that lines the Banpo Bridge. The Moonlight Rainbow Fountain is located in Seoul, South Korea, and it features over 380 water jets. Now, these jets shoot water into the air in a variety of cool patterns and heights and arches, dynamic shapes and cascading water, you name it, this fountain's got it. Plus, the fountains are synchronized to music, so it's a feast for both your eyes and your ears. But the real allure of the Moonlight Rainbow Fountain are the lights. The fountain has LED lights along the bridge. It's a captivating sight, especially at night when the bright LEDs shine. The fountain was designed by the Seoul Metropolitan Government. The design and construction of the fountain were part of the city's efforts to enhance the urban landscape and create attractive public spaces. And one look at this fountain, and suffice to say, they did succeed. Number 13. Aquanura, Netherlands Fountains are found in all sorts of locations, in front of famous landmarks, situated in front of buildings, adorning the entrances to prestigious hotels, and the location of water fountains is as varied as the fountains themselves. Take the Aquanura Fountain, for example. This interesting fountain is located in a theme park in the Netherlands, the Efteling theme park to be exact. More than just your average water fountain, Aquanura is an entire water show. The fountain features a whopping 200 fountains, and it shows a mix of water, music, and stunning lights. Aquanura was designed by the firm Wet. Now, Wet Design is known for its work on various water features and fountains, including the famous Fountains of Bellagio in Las Vegas, which makes an appearance in this video a little bit further on. Now, the Aquanura show officially opened on June 1st, 2012, and the launch of this fountain was an integral part of the park's 60th anniversary. This park has a fairy tale theme, with the vibe of the park takes inspirations from classic myths, fairy tales, and folklore. With a blend of thrill rides, enchanting forests, whimsical characters, and majestic castles, the Aquanura show fits in perfectly with the magical atmosphere the park is known for. To date, this water fountain is one of the largest water shows in Europe and remains one of the key attractions at the fun-filled Efteling theme park. Number 12. The Palace of Versailles Fountains, France so when it comes to famous palaces, right, the Palace of Versailles is probably one of the most recognized and revered palaces on the planet. But did you know that its fountains are as equally as stunning? The fountains are located in the palace gardens. Now, these gardens are a masterpiece of landscape design, and the fountain plays a very significant role in it. Both the gardens and the fountains of Versailles were designed by André Le Nôtre, who is a famous French landscape architect and gardener. Now, the gardens around the ground are a prime example of classical French garden design, and they contribute to the overall grandeur of the place. One of the most notable features is the Grand Canal, an artificial canal that stretches across the gardens, as well as Parterre d'Eau, which is a large rectangular pool in the front of the palace, as well as a large pool in the front of the palace. 
This pool is adorned with symmetrically arranged flower beds and is home to several fountain displays. So the Palace of Versailles has not just one, but many fountains. The Latonia Fountain, for example, is a highlight of the gardens. This fountain depicts the stories of Latonia and her children. The Apollo Fountain, on the other hand, is located at the central axis of the gardens and is an equally iconic feature. And finally, the Neptune Fountain, or the Basin de Neptune as it's called, is found at the far end of the central axis of the gardens and is a sought-after fountain by tourists. All the fountains here at the palace are known for their ornate and symmetrical designs, and they all reflect that formal style of the French garden. The fountains are also pretty old. The designs began in the mid-17th century during the reign of Louis XIV. These fountains have, of course, undergone extensive restoration over the years to ensure that their historic and artistic significance remains intact. In fact, the Palace of Versailles, including its fountains and gardens, are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and so they continue to attract visitors from all over the globe. Number 11. The Magic Fountain of Montjuic, Barcelona, Spain the Magic Fountain of Montjuic is aptly named. Since its construction, it's entertained thousands of people with its whimsical design and carefully choreographed water dancing. The fountain was commissioned for the International Exposition of 1929. The fountain was the brainchild of a Catalan architect named Carles Bourgois, and he envisioned a massive fountain that would not only captivate audiences with its sheer size, but also mesmerize them with a choreography of water and light. Mission accomplished, I guess. The Magic Fountain has some pretty impressive dimensions. It spans an area almost 12,000 square feet. This fountain is adorned with an array of water jets that range from smaller sprays right up to powerful spouts that shoot water high up into the air. The central focal point, though, is a majestic sculpture known as the Cascada. These sculptures feature an allegorical figure that can add a touch of artistic elegance to the fountain's design. Its lighting system was updated in 2007 to include energy-efficient LEDs, so now the fountain creates an almost ethereal atmosphere as the water dances in time to the music. The music that they use is diverse, from classical compositions to contemporary hits, and watching this fountain in action, whether it's cascading eloquently to a classical symphony or busting a move to a pop-cultural beat, it is truly an immersive experience. But the magic fountain here also has some historical significance. The fountain was one of the earliest and most grandiose fountains of its kind when it made its debut. It was first unveiled to the public in 1929, and when it was, well, it became the fountain that other fountains aspired to be. It was the largest fountain in the world at that time, and even though it doesn't hold that record anymore, its legacy lives on. The magic fountain of Montjuic is still one of the most iconic and most magical fountains in the world. Number 10. Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain, Austria If you like your fountains with a side serving of sparkle, then look no further than this next one. The Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain should come with the hashtag Fountain of Bling, because this decked out fountain is truly one of a kind on the bling front. The Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain is located in Watens, Austria, and it's not your average fountain. Instead, it's a crystalline masterpiece that has 45 feet of blinktastic brilliance. This fountain is the brainchild of none other than the crystal connoisseurs themselves, Swarovski. Determined to build a fountain that had the same shimmer and shine as the crystals they're so famous for, they enlisted the help of artist Andre Heller, as well as landscape architect Peter Oldolf. And believe it or not, the inspiration for this crystalline wonderland came from the most unexpected of places. The fountain was inspired by the crystal head of a toothbrush. Yep, a toothbrush. The fountain features a crystal dome, and as the water cascades down it, the scene explodes into a frenzy of rainbows and sparkles. But this fountain isn't just for viewing. Guests are encouraged to roll up their sleeves and interact with it. Visitors can navigate the water-covered stepping stones to get up close and personal with this crystal-themed fountain. It's truly unique in its design, and bizarre in its inspiration. This crystal head fountain will sparkle its way into any visitor's memory. Number 9. The Fountains of Peterhof Palace, St. Petersburg, Russia So, if you ever find yourself on the shores of the Gulf of Finland, just outside St. Petersburg, Russia, you might want to visit the Peterhof Palace and its stunning fountains. The fountains here were inspired by the grandeur of the Palace of Versailles, and they don't disappoint. In fact, both the fountains and the palace hold so much historical and cultural significance, they are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The palace was commissioned by Peter the Great in the early 18th century, and while the palace grounds are beautiful, the most iconic feature of the palace grounds is the Grand Cascade. 
That is a cascading series of fountains all adorned with golden statues and intricately designed waterworks, and at the center of this golden masterpiece is the Samson Fountain. This fountain features Samson tearing open the jaws of a lion. Why? Well, because it was meant to symbolize Russia's victory over Sweden in the Great Northern War. Along with the fountains, visitors can stroll through the sprawling gardens where they'll find whimsical sculptures, all sorts of mythological figures, and trick fountains. For example, on Chessboard Hill, unsuspecting guests may find themselves sprayed by hidden jets of water that are activated by pressure-sensitive plates in the walkway. It's best to visit during the summer months when the fountains really do come to life and show off their grand display of water, music, and lights. The Grand Fountain Festival is an annual event that attracts people from all over who come to watch this interesting series of fountains in action. Number 8. The Archibald Fountain, Australia there's plenty to see and do in the land down under. From the great outback to the pristine beaches, Australia has some of the world's most magnificent landscapes. It also has some pretty amazing fountains. But the Archibald Fountain isn't just an interesting fountain, it's a standing symbol of friendship. This sweet friendship-themed fountain is in the heart of Sydney's Hyde Park and was commissioned as a gift to the city by J.F. Archibald in 1926. Archibald was the editor of the Bulletin magazine at the time, and he acquired the services of French sculptor François-Léon Sicard for the design. The fountain is an example of classic artistry, and it's full of figures meant to represent various facets of Australian life. There's also characters from Greek mythology as well as some fauna. At its center stands Apollo, the Greek god of the arts, and he's holding out his right arm in a gesture of blessing, signifying that those who visit the fountain will be blessed. Around Apollo, there are other stylized figures that represent poetry, music, science, and industry. And surrounding these figures are a whole whack of seahorses, tortoises, and other creatures, all intricately carved. The fountain's design reflects the neoclassical and Beaux-Arts style, and it's become an integral part of the Sydney cultural landscape. But as mentioned, it's a symbol of friendship between Australia and France. The fountain was a gesture of gratitude from France to Australia for Australia's support of France during World War I. When the fountain was revealed to the public in 1932, dignitaries from both countries were here for the inauguration. Today, the fountain is a tranquil place to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. Because it's located within Hyde Park, the Archibald Fountain provides the perfect place for people to kick back and relax. Moving on to number 7, the Buckingham Fountain, Chicago. When you first hear the name of this next fountain, you might think we're headed over to London, but nope. Although the Buckingham Fountain sounds like it should belong at the Buckingham Palace, this fountain is actually in Chicago. It's located in the middle of Grant Park, and since its creation, it's become one of the city's most iconic landmarks. The fountain was commissioned in 1927 by philanthropist Kate Sturgis Buckingham, hence the name. Her brother, Clarence, had passed away, and not satisfied with a simple gravestone, she commissioned the fountain. It was designed by architect Edward H. Bennett, in cahoots with the French sculptor Marcel Loyal and engineer Jacques Lambert. The fountain was inspired by the Latona Basin in the Palace of Versailles, and in the center of the fountain is a large Rococo-style basin, and this basin's adorned with four seahorses. Why four? Well, they represent the four states that surround Lake Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. At the center of the basin, there's a colossal pink marble structure. Now, this structure features a sculpted allegorical figure that's meant to represent Lake Michigan. So the fountain is a pretty grand nod not just to Clarence, but also to Lake Michigan. But one of its most captivating aspects of this fountain is the water display. The fountain operates from April to October, and the fountain puts on a new show every hour. The show features synchronized water jets and an assortment of colored lights. The main jets shoot water vertically as high as 150 feet, making the Buckingham Fountain one of the highest fountains in the world. At night, it's really stunning, as the lights and water display create a memorable ambiance against the backdrop of the Chicago skyline. Number 6. The Nation's Friendship Fountain, Russia so some fountains are designed to simply spray water, some are designed to put on a show, but some are meant to be a prolific and long-lasting message intended to speak to all that pass by. Now, Russia is known for many things, snow, the cold, vodka, but unbeknownst to many, Russia is also home to some pretty awesome fountains. The Nation Friendship Fountain is one of the most famous fountains in Russia, as it's a powerful symbol of unity and collaboration. The fountain's found smack dab right in the heart of Moscow, and it's relatively new, as far as iconic fountains go. 
It was inaugurated in 2001 and it marked the 10th anniversary of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, and as such the fountain was made to celebrate the newfound spirit of cooperation and friendship amongst the independent nations that emerged from the Soviet bloc. It was designed by renowned architect Zorab Saracelli, and it features a central bronze composition that depicts a group of figures. Now, these figures represent the various nations that once made up the Soviet Union. And to really hit the point of the theme of friendship home, the statues are arranged in a circle holding hands. The figures are diverse, and they highlight the multitude of ethnicities and cultures that once coexisted within the vast expanse of the Soviet Union. And while that sounds like a pretty heavy message, what would a fountain be without a spectacular light show? The nation's friendship fountain is the state-of-the-art high-tech system that creates a mesmerizing show for spectators. The fountain also serves as a reminder of Russia's commitment to foster friendly relations with its neighboring nations, so it's a beacon of hope and a visual reminder of the ideals of peace, understanding, and cooperation. Number 5. King Fahd's Fountain, Saudi Arabia some fountains are famous for their girth, some are famous for their lights or musical choreography, others still are famous for their age or cultural significance. But when it comes to plain old height, then the King Fahd's Fountain takes the crown. Behold, the tallest fountain in the world. King Fahd's Fountain, also known as the Jeddah Fountain, is a famous landmark in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. More specifically, the fountain is located in the Red Sea off the coast of Jeddah near the King Fahd Fountain Park, hence the name. So just how tall is this thing? Well, at times water can reach up to 853 feet high, which is extremely impressive for a fountain. It was actually a gift to the city of Jeddah from King Fahd bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, former king of Saudi Arabia. So the fountain isn't just a tourist attraction, it's also a symbol of Jeddah and a source of pride for its residents. It made its debut in 1985 and since then the fountain has captivated the wonder and awe of tourists from all over the world. It utilizes the nearby seawater, and this fountain draws seawater directly from the Red Sea for its displays. It's often illuminated at night, providing a stunning visual display against the dark sky. An engineering feat, a marvel of water magnificence, and a symbol of Jeddah, and it's a link to the Red Sea, it's a highly sought-after tourist attraction. King Fahd's Fountain, it spews its fountain of water into the neck-cranking heights, making it one of the most interesting fountains on the planet. Number 4. The Trevi Fountain, Rome the Trevi Fountain is an iconic masterpiece nestled in the heart of Rome. This fascinating fountain is an example of artistic brilliance and architectural magnificence. The fountain was commissioned by Pope Clement XII and completed in 1762, and today the fountain stands as an example of the Baroque period. It was designed by Italian architect Nicola Salvi, but when Salvi passed away in 1751 the construction was overseen by Giuseppe Panini after Salvi's passing. The fountain was built to celebrate the restoration of the Aqua Vergine, which is one of the ancient Rome aqueducts that had been revived by Pope Clement XII. The name Trevi is derived from the Latin Trivium, which refers to the three streets converging at the fountain's location. Today, the fountain is renowned for both its historical significance and its colossal dimensions. It stands approximately 86.2 feet in height and spans a width of 160 feet. It's the largest Baroque fountain in the city, as well as one of the most famous fountains in the world. The central figure, Oceanus, emerges triumphantly from a shell-shaped chariot that's pulled by seahorses. This symbolizes their dominance over water. Surrounding Oceanus are statues that represent abundance and health, which embody all the great things restored aqueduct brings to the city. One of the key charms of the fountains is the tradition of tossing coins into the water. Legend has it that tossing a coin over your left shoulder, using your right hand, ensures a return to Rome. So if you like Rome and you want to come back, you best hit up this fountain. The tradition has become so ingrained that millions of visitors partake in this ritual annually, making the Trevi Fountain a symbol of not just architectural excellence, but also of hope and wishes fulfilled. The fountain was featured in Fellini's iconic film La Dolce Vita, as well as an assortment of other films and TV shows. Number 3. The Bellagio Fountain, Las Vegas a trip down the famous Las Vegas Strip will provide you with a plethora of eye candy and sights that you can't find anywhere else on just one road. From the iconic roller coaster at New York, New York, to the Paris Eiffel Tower, to the high roller at the back of the Link Promenade, there is so much to see on the Vegas Strip. Everything's larger than life in Vegas, so you best believe Vegas hosts one of the most iconic and most interesting water fountains in the world. Welcome to the Fountains of Bellagio, an innovative water fountain that draws hundreds of visitors for every show. Located somewhat mid-strip, the fountains are easily accessible and completely free. They can be viewed directly from the strip and they perform their aquatic magic many times per day, but the fountains can also be seen by several hotel rooms. 
The fountains at the Bellagio were designed by the Wet Design Firm and headed by Mark Fuller. Wet Design is best known for its water features, and they're the masterminds behind several other prominent and iconic water installations worldwide. But even so, few fountains can hold a candle to the grandeur that is this one. The hallmark of these fountains is their choreographed water displays. They're set to music, plus the fountains are illuminated by thousands of lights. The small little lake itself is quite lovely when the fountains are on their break, but when the fountains start, this lake becomes a magical illumination of lights in a fountain spray. The fountain is a complex that consists of over 1,200 individual jets. They can shoot water up to 460 feet in the air, so this massive display isn't just long, it's also very high. They first started spewing their aquatic magic on October 15, 1998, and since their inauguration, they've become a bucket list item for many Vegas-bound tourists. And for those who were wondering about water waste, let me put your mind at ease. Despite the impressive water display, the fountains of the Bellagio are designed with water conservation in mind. The water is recycled and treated for reuse in the fountain system. So how much does it cost to build a massive water fountain complex like this? Well, the construction cost of this fountain was reported to be around $40 million. But it was well worth the cost, since the fountains have lit up faces of millions and become one of the most iconic landmarks in Vegas. They come to life regularly every 30 minutes, with shows as frequent as 15 minutes apart in some instances. Now, needless to say, the fountains are world-renowned and are often considered to be one of the most elaborate and impressive water features in the world. It also doesn't hurt that the Bellagio also hosts the Bellagio Conservatory, another free tourist draw that boasts a botanical display of horticultural artistry. So tourists can get two free things at one hotel, which adds to the allure of these fantastic fountains. Number 2. Fountains Off the Beaten Track since the theme of today's video is interesting fountains, and what's interesting to one person might not be to another, and vice versa, I would be amiss if I didn't include some fountains that drip to the beat of their own jet. For example, the Blood Fountain in Wales in the UK comes with a warning that the water will stain your clothes red. The fountain is found in the Castle Garden Swansea, and it is tinted red. Apparently, the fountain's red water started during an event to support heart disease, which makes sense. And whether this fountain has you recoiling or leaning closer in fascination, the Blood Fountain Swansea is inarguably interesting. Sticking with the UK for this next fountain, we have the Vomiting Fountain Square. This bizarre fountain's found in London, and believe it or not, it's actually part of a series of fountains created by fountain sculptor Klaus Weber. Also known as the Puking Fountains, this installation of stone sculptures is actually called the Big Giving, and it's found on the South Bank in central London. Switching gears now and veering away from bodily fluids, the Water Boat Fountain is found in Valencia. And this fountain offers visitors a really unique and lovely fountain. It features jets of water that strategically flow from various parts of the sculpture, and they give the illusion of a boat and sail. Apparently, the fountain is best seen at sunset, but it's pretty cool the way the water creates the illusion of an actual boat. Next up is the Diver's Fountain. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to physically dive down an actual fountain, then you can live vicariously through the diving statues of this one. It's found in the Dubai Mall, and it cascades 24 meters down past all four levels of the mall. The fountain is inside, and it features divers made of fiberglass. It's interesting because all the divers are mid-dive, suspended there forever. This fountain opened in 2009 and was designed by DPA Architects, and apparently the fountain is a tribute to pearl divers, since pearl divers played a very important role in the early history of Dubai. Over to Lima, Peru for their fantastic Tunnel of Surprise. This fountain forms a tunnel that visitors can walk through. However, visitors are warned that one misstep will get them very wet. The Tunnel of Surprise is one of the fountains in the Magic Water Circuit. It's a 19-acre park that opened up in 2007. This park features 13 illuminated fountains and quickly became one of Lima's most visited attractions. The Tunnel of Surprise, like many of the fountains in the Magic Water Circuit, is intended to be interactive. So yeah, you're supposed to walk through the Tunnel of Water. And finally, a fountain off the beaten path that mixes art and fountain mastery. There's the Stravinsky Fountain. This one is a public fountain that sits in Paris. One look at this fountain and you can see the whimsy. The area is splattered with 16 sculptures, and each one is inspired by Stravinsky's most iconic work, the Rites of Spring. But even cooler, each sculpture moves and sprays water. This masterpiece was created by Niki de Safal and Jean Tingeli, and it's intended to show off more of the surreal, colorful, whimsical sides of the fountains. Needless to say, the Stravinsky fountain is a fun stop for Parisians looking to add a little color and spray into their day. Number 1. Fountain of Wealth, Singapore 
Well, sorry to disappoint, but this next fountain doesn't spew money or gold coins as its name suggests. The Fountain of Wealth simply spews water, although it does it in a very interesting way. It's in Suntec City in Singapore, and it was designed by the architects of the Sao Macaon firm. Now, unlike other famous fountains which consist of traditional rays of multiple fountains, the Fountain of Wealth goes a little rogue here. It's centered around a single large structure, and it holds special cultural significance. It's positioned at the heart of the Suntec City commercial complex, and it symbolizes wealth and prosperity. The design for the fountain was inspired by the Hindu mandala, which represents the oneness in spirit and unity among various races and religions in Singapore. As such, the location was strategically placed, and the fountain sits in a major shopping and business district, so it serves as a focal point for events and gatherings, plus it's surrounded by retail and dining establishments. It was commissioned as part of the Suntec City Development Project and completed in 1995, and along with being one central, solid piece, the Fountain of Wealth also has another cool and interesting feature. It's interactive. Visitors can walk around the base of the fountain, especially during specific periods when the water is turned off, to complete a ritual for good luck and prosperity. This ritual is particularly popular during Chinese New Year celebrations, where people take advantage of the fountain's reputation for instilling good fortune. Furthermore, the Fountain of Wealth is a Guinness Book of World Record holder. It was recognized in 1998 as the largest fountain in the world. Now, whether or not the fountain actually bestows wealth and good fortune onto those who partake in its ritual is up for debate, but the fountain really is beautiful and it's culturally significant. The Fountain of Wealth is a really cool one and a really large fountain. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.